Hey guys, Colin here, and welcome back to Fight for Truth, the channel where we bring you Christian commentary about the things that matter. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a message from Joyce Meyer. She is the president, founder, and teacher of Joyce Meyer Ministries. She has written several successful books, New York Times bestsellers, including, quote, 20 Ways to Make Every Day Better, and, quote, Four Steps to a New You. Almost all of her books are like that. They're about self-improvement, attitude adjustments, motivation, that sort of thing. Effectively, she's nothing but a motivational speaker who uses religious language in order to get people to give her money. In other words, she is a dangerous false teacher. In the following video, you will see a clip in which Joyce Meyer is having an interview on TBN with Rich Wilkerson. He is the father of another famous false teaching celebrity pastor, Rich Wilkerson Jr. In just the introduction to the rest of the video, Joyce Meyer packs a few short sentences absolutely full of her false teaching. Watch this. Don't ever stop hoping. Hope is the expectation that God is about to do something amazing in your life. Good. And so I want you to be full of hope. And I don't want you to have a bad life, a bad month, a bad week, a bad day, or a bad hour. Because Jesus came that we might have and enjoy our lives and have it in abundance to the full. So there are several areas in which Joyce offers false and misleading ideas in just the span of that 20-second clip. Here's the first example. Watch this again. Don't ever stop hoping. Hope is the expectation that God is about to do something amazing in your life. Good. So first she talks about hope. She says that hope is the expectation, really the assumption, that God is just about to do something amazing in your life. This is the first problem, though, with her teaching. And by the way, this is an example of something that prosperity teachers do literally all the time. They preach an intentionally vague message, and then they allow the audience to fill in the blanks with whatever their hearts desire. In this way, they can actually perpetuate and preach the prosperity gospel without having to say it out loud or explicitly. They just offer an ambiguous and unclear motivational message, and they let the crowd fill in the rest. She says that you should always expect that God is about to do something great, something momentous in your life. And of course, she lets you fill in the blanks as to what that means. This begs the question, what exactly is the nature of this great thing that God's going to do for you? Well, Joyce Meyer knows that the majority of the people in her audience will fill that answer in with health, wealth, prosperity, and essentially the fixing of all their material problems. The grand majority of people who watch that video are not going to imagine that this great thing God is doing in their life is anything like sanctification, or putting their sin to death, or giving them a greater understanding of His Word where it's necessary, or adding to their patience, or giving them an opportunity to evangelize. No, obviously, these are nowhere near the first things that come to mind, especially when a teacher like Joyce Meyer says to know that God is going to do something great in your life. But this implied teaching of the prosperity gospel and the health and wealth gospel is not what sound teaching of the word looks like. 2 Timothy 3.16 says that, quote, All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. Notice that concepts like reproof and correction are involved here. You see, the job of a sound teacher, or at least part of the job, is not to allow the minds of their audience to run wild and go in a materialistic direction. No, a sound teacher reproves the flesh in the mind of man. It corrects their improper understanding with the wisdom of the Word of God. Joyce Meyer, being a female teacher, shouldn't be teaching in this capacity at all. Yet that goes especially so given the fact that her teaching is unbiblical and implicitly centered on materialism. This brings us to the second clip. Watch this again. And so I want you to be full of hope. And I don't want you to have a bad life, a bad month, a bad week, a bad day, or a bad hour. Because Jesus came that we might have and enjoy our lives and have it in abundance to the full. So in this particular part, she says that she doesn't want you to have any bad days. In fact, not even a bad hour. And the reason she says this is because, apparently, Jesus came to give us life and give it to us abundantly. This teaching is false and misleading for many reasons. First off, the passage she is referring to does not mean what she says it means. This is a very popular passage among prosperity teachers. They love to use it to justify their unbiblical positions. It's John 10.10. 10. 
In this passage, Jesus says, quote, The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I come that you may have life and have it abundantly. And you see, the teaching from Joyce Meyer here is that she wants you to have all good days, all good hours, in fact, because Jesus came to give you this abundant life. But that is not what the passage is talking about, not even close. Clark's Bible commentary puts it very well when it says, quote, Jesus has come that men may have abundance, abundance of grace, peace, love, life, and salvation, end quote. You see, the abundant life in this passage is not the promise of never having another bad day or another bad hour. Rather, it is the promise of the ultimate spiritual rest and peace, knowing that Christ has freed us from our sin and that we are granted eternal life with him when we leave this world. The Bible does not claim to show Christians how to never have another bad day or another bad hour, but rather it shows Christians how to face trials while maintaining ultimate peace and rest and security in the Lord. 2 Corinthians 1, 3 through 4 talks about the, quote, God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort that we ourselves are comforted by God. You see, the Christian life does not promise an end to all affliction in our lives. Rather, it promises the ultimate comfort of the Lord even despite the affliction and suffering that we may experience. There is nothing realistic at all about the possibility of never having another bad day or another bad hour. And that is most certainly not what Jesus meant when he said that he came to give us abundant life. Not even close. So there is no serious Bible teacher who would agree with Joyce Meyer's position here. It is fundamentally a manipulation of the words of Christ in John 10.10. 10. Joyce Meyer is a false teacher, a manipulator of the Word of God. She takes virtually every biblical text she reads and then she twists it to fit with her prosperity gospel and motivational speaking worldview. Knowing this, we must lovingly mark and avoid her as a dangerous and unbiblical preacher. I pray that this has been a blessing to you, and please know that this video isn't meant as a sinful attack, but rather as a biblical critique. And let's pray for Joyce Meyer, that she would stop this false teaching by God's grace and turn to the truth of God's Word. Thank you so much for watching that video. Please give us a like and subscribe so that you don't miss any content. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Rumble channel as well, just in case YouTube ever takes us down. The link is in the description. And before you go, take a look at this list here. These are the people who make all of the free content you see on this channel possible with their monthly support. Today's highlighted channel supporter is Michael A. If you also want to help and become part of the solution today, hit the link in the description. Your support keeps us independent and helps us immensely here on the channel. So I hope you'll consider joining the Truth Army today, and until next time, fight for truth, never surrender, and keep your eyes open. Thank you, and God bless.